Have you ever had the experience of taking something poisonous, toxic, and then experiencing a transformation of some kind through that? Well, I'm meeting with someone this afternoon who works with Cambo, which is poisonous frog venom that apparently when you inject it under the skin, I believe, create some sort of purification or strangely detoxification in the body and I've heard that that people feel amazing afterwards now I'm not I don't think I'm going to take it I haven't been drawn to taking Cambo at all but I am fascinated to hear about what took this woman on this journey to try it and then to work with other people with it so we'll see what comes out of that but also like last week when I went to, to meet the 5,000 year old yew tree, which is considered the oldest tree in the whole of Europe, I tried one of the little fruits of it, the little arrow. Now, most people think that every single part of the yew tree is toxic, but the only part that isn't is the flesh of the fruit, which is this beautiful deep red. And as long as you take the seed out, then the flesh is not toxic. It was really tasty. So I had one arrow fruit of this 5,000 year old yew tree and I plan to go back and get a few more but I'm thinking I'm going to find out what the what is supposed to be the value like what is the medicinal quality of the yew tree arrow fruit and then I'm not sure whether to make arrow brandy or arrow vodka um, or arrow gin maybe but uh, certainly I'd be headed in that way and I'll let you know that I'll be making some gorgeous yummy drinks and and concoctions and maybe elixirs when I am in the yurt this winter and it's official I now move in on the 9th of November I'm very excited. It's going to be a little bit more financially challenging than I thought because I need to provide my own wood and I certainly want to keep warm there. But anyway, I'm determined to do this. I'm excited. I'm inspired. Some people think I'll be bored. I think that will be the last thing that happens to me out there. But anyway, for the time being, I'm in Ilpai Island. I'm warm. I'm cosy, as you can see. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.